bushcraft and survival. Now I touched base on this earlier about the bow drill, but I wanted to revise it, kind of go behind the science of it. Now, last time I said I wasn't going to talk about the uh, hearth board, but I think I really need to, because there's a lot about the hearth board that uh, really needs to be said. First off, when you burn it in, you have to burn it in with the spindle that you're going to use. Now, the reason why that's important is because you want the friction surface to be absolute all the way around. If there's any part of this that is not getting friction or not getting uh, uh, contact, then it's losing heat. Also, something to take into consideration is that the spindle will actually take the form of the hearthboard before the hearthboard takes the form of the spindle. So, that also means that when you are grooving it out for the spindle, you want to make it very shallow and you don't want to go the full diameter of the spindle. You want to allow the spindle to make the full diameter. You also want the spindle to be very flat and the reason why for that is it goes back to it will take the form of the hearth board before the hearth board takes the form of it. So if you have this uh, in a, a, you know, a, a point then it'll take you longer to get to uh, getting an ember. Now I've already burnt this in See if I can get it close enough to the camera to see. It's a perfect match to this. And this is ready to be notched in. Now on notching, everybody talks about quarter of an in, uh, quarter of a circle. Quarter I mean, quarter slice of the circle. Or a quarter slice of the diameter. The thing of it is, is that well, when it actually makes it easier if you make it wider. And I know that it's a proven science. I know that it's been around for several years, but if you're in a situation where, I don't know, you're injured, you can't move around the same as you normally could, then it really helps to widen up that hole. As you're drilling in, it's making dust that falls down into the groove, the notch that you're cutting in but it's also putting dust around the outside edge. So, if you make the, uh, the notch wider, then it allows for the dust on top to fall down in that notch a lot easier. And it actually gets an ember faster. So, I've talked about the thickness of it, and uh, I said that 5 eighths to 3 quarters is my choice. If you're having trouble uh, getting or succeeding in a bow drill, there are several ways to make it easy. Number one, longer bow. Number two, the spindle being narrower. And this spindle is actually bigger than my thumb. I mean, it's a hair bigger than my thumb. Make it narrower, and it will cause an ember faster. And, of course, with the hearth board, making that a perfect match and cutting the uh, notch out a little wider will also help in getting a member a lot faster. Another thing to take into consideration, which this is something that I would advise anybody and everybody to do, you know, you got a kit for survival and that's great. I would suggest that you would get a block of wood and you would get something to fill in, in this case, I used a uh, bottom end of a CO2 cartridge and then pressed it in, uh, a press fit, and it reduces the uh, friction altogether. It doesn't burn the top of it at all. And I would suggest that this would be something that you would throw in your kit. You would make and you would throw in your kit. And that way that regardless of the fact, you know, your uh, socket is not going to cause friction. You're always going to have a good socket to use. So you don't have to get a fidget spinner and, you know, do all that fancy 
stuff at school, but you don't have to. But I would advise you something just in case. It makes it easier and it helps you get that ember a lot faster. And that's another thing that I, I don't think I mentioned last time. When you are drilling and your spindle kicks out, nine times out of ten it kicks out because of the socket. There are other reasons too. If you rock your hand back and forth and you know it kicks out that way, it happens. Um, but by reducing the friction of the, uh, the socket, it helps a lot on kick out. Now I'm actually going to get down and um, I'm, like, I'm going to create an ember today. But uh, I'm going to make the notch and I'm going to show you how I did that and show you that it's wider and it's, it's mass. Okay, so if you have a three-quarter inch diameter, a quarter slice of that is three-eighths. So I'm wanting to go a little larger than three-eighths and let's say a half inch. And maybe even a little uh, wider than that, you know. Not too much wider, but a little wider than that. And the reason why you don't want to go too wide is because you don't want the uh, this to kick out on you for that reason. You want it to be able to nestle in there good, you know. But going a little wider, it's still going to stay in the slot, and you're actually going to get the ember faster and easier. So I'll be back when I uh, get the notch in, and I'll show you that, and then we'll go ahead and get an ember. Right, I'm back. Now, this one right here is an exaggerated uh, one. This will not work. This one right here. This one got five embers from it, and I doubt very much it'll get another one, but uh, that's a smaller diameter, or I'm sorry, a smaller slice, but this is like the quarter slice. This is the recommended quarter slice. See how big the hole is, and see how small the slice is, okay? This one right here, look how big the hole is, and look how big the slice is. Now this one is actually a little wider than this diameter would call for. Now I'm going to go ahead and set the camera up and uh, we'll get an ember. Alright, when you're in this position, you want your arm as straight as possible because you got to press down towards. You have to maintain that surface at all times. Every time you drill, it is taking away material and so you have to press down and use your body weight to press down in order to maintain that uh, contact of all the surface. And like I said in the last video, you're not going to get anywhere until you start building up the dust. So you may be doing this for a while, so you just want a steady pace back and forth. It doesn't have to be fast, but it does have to be steady. You have to maintain that pressure. And you also want to lock your arm up against your uh, shin so that it doesn't move back and forth. Now, you see a lot of smoke and you notice I stopped. I, I stopped. You can rest during this point. You don't have to continue. This can be an absolute two-step process. Yeah, it's cooling down. But that superheated dust is still around there. And it's filled up, too. So you can take a breather. Relax. Rest. And then come back to it when you have the energy. Because the next step... You're going to have to start off slow to build that back up that heat. But, as long as you remain pressure, and you go, at, you know, like I said last time, you know, gear two, then you will, in fact, get an ember.
and that's it. We have an ember. Now, back to, this is gonna be extremely hot, and I said I normally put it in the back pocket, but I'll let it cool down before I do, because it will, you know, burn you. So, just have to maintain, you know, cooling this down, keep it dry, but, you know, let it cool down before you put it in your back pocket. And if you have some place to set it, then set it. Just make sure that it stays dry. And just like I used last time, my uh, socket. And just like I said last time, you don't have to be in any hurry once you get an ember. Let it build up. You got about two, and if there's a lot of dust like this right here, three minutes before, you know, you really need to get it into a, a, a tender bundle. But that proves it. You know, that short period of time right there, I got the ember by maintaining all the steps. Now, I also said uh, last time that uh, I used my Bowie to uh, get the, uh, the socket started, and I do, but you don't want to go too deep and you don't want the point to be inside. You want it to be as shallow as possible you know and the reason why you don't want that uh, groove with the tip of your knife in there is because it goes right back to the, the um, spindle will take the shape of the hearthboard before the hearthboard takes care or takes shape to the spindle so you're going to end up with an elongated needle and all the heat's going to be down there at the bottom of the needle but uh no heat's going to be up there where you want it. So, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that it helps. Because somebody like me, I can't get around. Like everybody else, I've had injuries in my past. And it slowed me down. But I'm still able to succeed. And that's the purpose of this channel, is to help people that are in my situation still be able to succeed in doing things like this. So I hope that you learned something. I hope that helps. And uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button. If you're new, please subscribe, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And uh, I look forward to seeing you soon.